Hi, and welcome to Ear Training Explained. In this video, we're going to take a look at basic terminology and theory of how intervals are arrived at and how they get their names. I've got a score here, if you will, ascending intervals by half steps. Got a bunch of information here. We've got a little keyboard. Let's bring this to center stage and talk about this for a second. Now, the piano is a good example of Western intonation, the Western major scale and the chromatic scale. And the chromatic scale is simply each note on the piano going up. So we can go from a C to the black key above it, which is going to be either a C sharp or a D flat. That's an inharmonic equivalent. We'll talk more about those later. We go to D, E flat, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, G flat, G sharp or A flat, A, a sharp or B flat, B, and C. Actually, this one down here, I believe I just called E flat, could also be called D sharp. So each one of these little steps is actually called a half step. And you can see, actually, there's a half step between this note, which is E, and F, but between D and E, it's a whole step because we have a black key here, which is a half step. So the chromatic scale is all the notes, which are 12 to an octave, 12 half steps per octave. And the half steps are our building block to naming intervals. This is one way of two ways to arrive at the interval's name. Now, half steps may also be called semitones. They also may be called minor seconds or augmented unisons. We'll look at that later. Let's go ahead and take a look and what we've got over here. And this is intervals going up. And we arguably could play the same note twice, and it would be a unison. In theory terminology, classical theory terminology, perfect unison. If you go from a C up one half step, C to D flat, you get a minor second. You go from C to D, that is two half steps, you get a major second. And that would sound like... We go from C to E flat, three half steps or a minor third. We can continue on. A major third is four half steps, C to E. Five half steps is a perfect four, C to F. And for those with perfect pitch or playing along with me, I am playing the piano an octave lower than it is written here, by the way. We have six half steps is going to be a diminished fifth. It also can be a tritone. This is C to G flat. Now we'll go C to G will be a perfect fifth, seven half steps. C to A flat is a minor six, eight half steps. Nine half steps gives us a major six. 10 half steps, a minor seventh. 11 half steps, a major seventh. And we go 12 half steps. We've got an octave from C to C. Now, we can also run these intervals going down. So these are descending intervals by half steps. We're going to start on the C up here where we left off, which was this one right here. So we'll go back here. And again, I'm playing on an octave lower. Here's C. It's a unison. We'll go down a minor second. Okay, two keys. Notice there's no black key here. We go down one half step, it's a minor second. C to B, C to B flat, two half steps. It's a major second. C to A is a minor third, or three half steps. Four half steps. C to A flat. Major third, five half steps is our perfect fourth, C to G. Six half steps, we're gonna call this one an augmented fourth, or it's also a tritone. C to G flat, perfect fifth, C to F, and that's seven half steps. We'll go to eight half steps. C to E is a minor six, nine half steps, C to E flat, major six, ten half steps, C to D, minor seventh, eleven half steps, major seventh, C to D flat. Then we have our perfect octave again, 12 half steps. These are all called simple 
intervals because they're all within an octave. If it was greater than an octave, the interval would be called compound. So to reiterate, we can take the smallest division that we have in the Western tonal system, which is the half step. It's also called the semitone. And we can start adding those together, building and creating our intervals. In the ensuing videos, we'll get into this some more and we'll discuss the terminology a little better. But you can understand how you can build your intervals by half steps. One half step, two half step, three half steps. Again, it's very obvious on the piano, one key, the adjacent key, be it black or white. On the guitar, it's just the next fret. So pretty easy to figure out, Western notation. And that's going to be all for this video. Next video, we'll look at naming these intervals using scales. And we'll talk about some twists and why we have perfect and augmented and diminished, those kind of things. Hope to catch you there. Thanks for watching this one. See you around.